Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel. This is your Ishwari ma'am. Students, in this video we are going to learn one super trick to solve four types of questions in metal carbonyls. Students, this is from the chapter coordination compounds. So students, here we will see what are those four types of questions. So here the first type of question is which one has longest CO bond length? So this question has appeared in NEET 2016 question paper. Four options are given to you. And second type of question is which one has strongest CO bond? And this question has appeared in 2011 question paper. And third type of question is which one has longest MC bond length? MC is metal carbon bond length. And here I have taken two options. And fourth type of question is which one has strongest MC bond. So again here I have taken two options. You can take any four options and we will be able to find out which one is having the strongest MC bond. So students if such type of question arises you can use one simple trick to solve all these four type of questions. So we will see that trick now. So here students you should know what is back bonding in metal carbonyl. So students metal is represented as M and what is uh, the formula for carbonyl? Carbonyl is C O. So you have to write bigger O. So if you write like this this becomes cobalt. So this is carbonyl group. Carbonyl group. And this will be having two electrons and this two electrons will be donated to the metal and this will be acting as a strong ligand. So here I will write carbon, oxygen and here so students now what happens is this is the carbon which will be donating this two electrons to the metal. So that is how I have written an arrow like this. So this is called as the sigma bond or coordinate bond. So carbon is a uh, carbon will donate two electron to the metal forming a sigma bond. Now what happens is metal after getting that extra electron it will become unstable. So due to that what happens is it will donate back the electron to the carbon. So that electron is donated to anti-bonding orbital of carbonyl group. Anti-bonding molecular orbital of the carbonyl group. So as a result now what happens is. So students here the dotted line arrow what I have written is called as back bonding. So here I will write back bonding. So now when back bonding i'll write bb when back bonding increases what will happen to the length the bond length between m and c m is the metal and c is the carbon m c so what happens to bond strength bs is bond strength when bo back bonding increases the bond strength of mc will increase why because there is a partial double bond character. So when double bond character is there, the strength is going to increase. When bond strength increases, what happens to bond length? So when bond strength increases, bond length will decrease because both are inversely uh, related to each other. When bond strength increases, bond length will decrease. So this is in MC that is the bond present between metal and carbon. So now what happens to the bond which is present between carbon and oxygen. So when back bonding increases what happens when back bonding increases it donates carbon uh, electron density to the carbon because of that what happens is stability will decrease. When stability decreases bond strength is going to decrease. So the bond strength is going to decrease here and bond length. Both are inversely proportional. Therefore bond length is going to increase. So this is for 
the bond which is present between carbon and oxygen so this is the one simple trick we are going to use to solve the problem this you have to remember when back bonding increases bond strength of mc will increase bond length of mc will decrease and when back bonding increases bond strength in the co will decrease and bond length will increase and students now one more question will come in your mind how to find which uh, in which compound back bonding will be more for that also i have a trick back bonding where it will be more is if metal has more negative charge when negative charge on the metal increases back bonding will increase on the metal if positive charge increases then back bonding will decrease so this is how you can find out so now we will solve the question so see here first question which one has longest co bond length so co bond length so they are talking about bond length of co so what is the relationship between bond length and back bonding when back bonding is increasing bond length is also increases for co so now here i'll write when back bonding is increasing bond length of co is also increasing so you should see where back bonding is more so how to find where back bonding is more back bonding will be more when negative charge on the metal is more so we'll see the charge on the metal so here fe is having minus 2 charge mn is having plus 1 charge nickel is having zero charge cobalt is having minus 1 charge so where negative charge is more so the negative charge is more here minus 2 so more the negative charge back bonding will be more than bond length of co will be more so option a will be the correct answer second type of question which one has strongest co bond strongest means strength they are asking so here we have to check the relationship between back bonding and bond strength so here both are inversely proportional to each other when back bond is increasing then bond strength is decreasing in the question they have asked strongest meaning is where strength is more so bond strength will be more for the metal carbonyl when back bonding is less so this is the relationship both are inversely proportional to each other so you have to check where where back bonding is less so where back bonding will be less when metal has positive charge so check where metal is having positive charge mn has plus 1 charge car has zero charge chromium vanadium has minus 1 charge iron has zero charge so plus charges more here therefore back bonding will be less bond strength of co will be more so option a will be the correct answer next third type of question which one has longest mc bond length so for mc bond length where it will be more they are asking so again check the relationship between back bonding and bond length so both are inversely proportional to each other so here the question is where it will be more so where bond length will be more so here back uh, bond length will be more when back bonding is less because both are inversely proportional so you have to check where back bonding is less where it will be less when it is having a positive charge so see here fe is having minus 2 charge uh mn is having plus 1 charge so positive charge is more here therefore back bonding will be less and bond length between mc will be more so option b fourth type of question which one has strongest mc bond so strongest mc bond so here what is the relationship back bonding is more bond strength is also more so here back bonding and when it is more bond strength of mc is also 
more so where bonding will be more when negative charge is more so f is having minus 2 charge n min is having plus 1 charge so negative charge is more here therefore back bonding will be more and bond strength also will be more for mc so option a will be the correct answer students isn't it very simple trick so learn only this trick so how they are related to each other how all this four components are related to back bonding then within 30 seconds you will be able to solve such type of questions so students if it is very useful to you you can sus subscribe the channel for more such useful videos and also you can share this with your friends i'll meet you in the next video with super duper tricks bye bye students